last night. I'm fine. How are you after last night? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. here. We talk about this movie. It's coming out on Friday. It's so exciting. I'm literally so excited. Oh wait, is that what we're talking about? No, we're here to talk. Yeah, we're here to talk about. Um, oh, I've, everybody's I talking, we were about talking about Venom too. Venom too. All the wrong questions. Oh in. yeah, <laughs> I played Venom in that. So. <laughs> Another starring role. <laughs> Congratulations again on the film. Thank you so much. Um, how has the whirlwind couple of weeks been promoting the film? Have you got used to talking to people about it? Um, yeah, I've got used to talking to people about it, to be fair. like, um, And like the response truly like has been really lovely. And I've had some like wonderful conversations about the film and what it's meant to people. And people have like really, I say strangely, but it's not strange, have opened up about themselves when they've talked about the film. It's like quite... It's quite nice to hear, but um, yeah, it has truly been a whirlwind. Like I went to America for like, what felt like two years. I was there for like a month, but like <laughs> I came back and it was really, it really, it's been really nice. Um, we're so relieved that the film's coming out and it's, on Friday it's going to like so many countries and that's just like really bizarre to me. But um, hopefully, <laughs> yeah. hopefully people will enjoy it. Okay, take me back to your audition process. When, when you went up for the role, did they, did you have to pick a song from the show or did you have to pick something by yourself or perform so, something yourself? So when I first, um, it was tapes to begin with. And um, the first tape was just me talking about myself. The second tape was a monologue that Tom McRae had written, which was like Jamie sending a video diary message to Pretty saying happy birthday, which was like a long monologue, which was like basically like a vlog, which was quite fun. And then, um, the third round was like a, a taping for the scene with dad, the scene with Margaret and the scene with Pretty and a, a choice of your own song. And I sang Shallow from A Star Is Born. And then I got called into the room and basically by that point I was literally doing all of the material from the show, um, like all of the songs <clears throat> and most of the scenes. And then by the time I got the job, I pretty much performed the entire film. So they sort of knew what they were getting. Before, before they cast me in the role. You did it all for free before you got yeah, the job. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. <laughs> um, in terms of uh, performing, what was what did you find more daunting, miming to your own uh, singing voice or miming to someone else's singing voice? Because obviously you perform well, we, on one of the stage shows. Well, we, um, we sang live on set. So we didn't mime to ourselves. We were okay. we were singing as, as live. And they when they mix the vocals, like they use live and and the studio recordings, so like blend blend together. Um, and even when I did the lip sync to, to Beverly's song, I sang along to Beverly. So... That was gonna be my next question with you, because you were so like on point with every single... You have to like, because, because of breath and because of like, you know, especially Beverly is like the queen of a riff. So she's giving it a riff. You'd want to like hit those notes, like, and you can tell with the, the, the vocal tract and stuff, like when you're hitting notes. So I... I I wanted to sing along to it because it's going to be the best way that it was going to make it look like I could do a lip sync. And actually, like when you're in a club and the queens are doing a lip sync, the music's so loud that they definitely do sing along. Didn't know that. So, uh, some people do. Some people, some people absolutely don't. And you can <laughs> tell they don't. But the ones that are really good, I think, definitely sing along or at least like under their breath sing along. Yeah. Does that help you guys as performers? Because over, especially in the more recent musicals, there's been a lot more, like Le Miz was all sung live. Yeah. La La Land, there was some live stuff. Does that help yeah. you guys to get into it? That it's not just you lip syncing to yourself? Yeah, like I, I, feel, I feel like if it was a lip sync moment, it would pull you out of it. So like everything, like the end of uh, My Man, Your Boy, like that moment that I'm just with Sarah, if Dan was playing the piano that day, so like if, if at any point, like... I wanted to pause and give Sarah a few more beats before I delivered the last line in the moment, we did. Like, and if, if it was timed, it would be really jarring to like try and stay in the moment with Sarah and then try and deliver the line on time. So like, that's why, but for the more like choreographed moments, like don't even know it, we're to a click because we're doing like cuts and we're doing like yeah. dance routines. So like those moments are more pop world video, but the more definitely for the more intimate moments, singing live 100% helped which actually they end up using more of the live vocal for that like all of Lauren's um, beautiful reprise most of that is live vocal and she is stunning like I watched it and I was like wow it's so so good yeah. when it was most and I can tell because I, I did music technology when I was at college so I can sort of I know what's live and what's not yeah and just finally before my time wraps up just give me a, a, a sentence on meeting the real Jamie what was that experience like for you it, it was a true like gift to have Jamie along this process because um, he just opened himself up and like for me as an actor it just enabled me to prepare and go deep and just root it in real and I really really wanted to 
more than anything, use him as my inspiration for the role. And like, you know, this is a, we're doing Jamie New here, but like Jay, without Jamie, without Jamie Campbell, there is no Jamie New. So like as much of Jamie Campbell I could pour into it as I could, I did. Um, and it was nice to meet and, and work with him. And he's been so incredibly supportive. So. Fantastic. I wish you all the best for it. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Again. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you wish so you much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!